we're again going to use Kali Linux here, and we're going to use it to get access to an application called Fern. Now, Fern is a program that's designed to crack security on wireless networks. So I'm going to go to wireless attacks into my Kali Linux menu. I go to 802.11 wireless tools, and then I can select Fern Wi-Fi Cracker. It's going to start up here. This is actually a GUI based utility as opposed to a command line based utility. And it may be a little bit difficult to read some of these things because of the way the UI is built. So let me explain what's actually happening here in case it's difficult for you to read this very small print. So what I'm selecting here is my interface. This is my wireless interface. I'm going to select WLAN zero and it's now going to actually bring up that interface in Fern so that it's ready to go. Then we're going to scan for access points. That's actually that button right there. So we're initializing that. It's going to go looking for all of the access points that are available. You'll see this button down here just lit up because it found some WPA enabled networks. According to this, there's 59 detected. So let me click on this. And this is a little bit harder to read because of the icons that they've got here. Let me just find the network that I am looking for. This is my network here, Infinite Wi-Fi. And down here, it's got the ESSID and the BSSID, the channel number power, the encryption that it's got. And underneath that, I've got attack options, regular attack or WPS attack. I'm only going to be doing a regular attack. Now what I need to do is select a word list. And so I am going to go into extras here, word lists. I'm gonna say common.txt. That's the word list I'm going to be using. And now over here, there's a button that says Wi-Fi attack. I push that button and it says one client MAC address associated with the access point is required to successfully attack the WPA encryption. If you know a client MAC address, you can add it manually or wait for the probing process to detect client accesses. I don't happen to know a MAC address, so what it's doing is it's actually looking for a MAC address and then it's going to attempt to do the brute force. So now what it's actually gonna be doing once it gets a MAC address that it can use is attempting all of the words in that word list. What it really is is just a dictionary of possible passwords, and we're going to do a brute force attack on the authentication for this WPA network. So this is a GUI-based way of doing attacks against WPA or WEP networks, and you can use this Fern Wi-Fi cracker to see whether your network is actually susceptible to attack based on common word lists that may be available. You can go download word lists from all over the place and you can see whether those word lists actually are capable of breaking into your wireless network or not.